Hi, welcome to the second game in my third round of the February Legacy Challenge. Uh, I won the first, lost the first game this round. Um, my record in the tournament is 1-1 one one at this point. I won the first round, lost the second round. Um, my opponent killed me with Goblin Charbelcher on turn 1 last game. Um, this is very scary if you lose the first game because then they get to play first in game 3 and basically you need force of will. But before we get to that, I need to win game two. So let's see how it goes. Um, on the play, because I lost, I get to keep my seven because I have spell pierce and counter spell and two cantrips. Unfortunately, my creature is true name, which is quite clunky, but that's not too bad. Um, my opponent, as in the first game, has the land grant. I could spell pierce this, um, which is actually not completely unreasonable. But I decide against it and try keeping the spell pierce for the mana, uh, for the bigger mana to trade for more cards. Um, so my opponent gets their stomping ground, um, cast Monomorphos, which I'm perfectly cool with. Um, Chromox imprinting, I think, one of their seething songs. Um, or they drew. Yeah, Seething Song, and they're casting Seething Song now, and that I'm going to spell Pierce because uh, my opponent might have drawn Empty the Warrens of their Mana Morphos, and if Seething Song resolves, they're casting um, Empty the Warrens for 14 tokens. And that's not what I want to do. Um, actually, they have another Goblin uh, Chrome Mox, so they get to make 16 tokens, but either way, I would be dead. And I would, don't want to be dead, so I'm going to spell Pierce the Seething Song. Um, which is a great trade for me. Um, they're playing another Mox, imprinting a Spirit Guide. Um, now I have Counter Spell open. I'm going to end step Brainstorm. Um, I'm never going to tap out of Counter Magic range in this matchup. Um, I cast Ensep Brainstorms, I think, a bit more than other people do. Um, you're often taught that Brainstorm is a sorcery and that you should also uh, always use it only when you have a fetch land. But I like the Ensep Brainstorm digging for lands a lot. Um, and this is exactly what I'm doing here. So I fail on the land, but I hit Stifle and Force of Will, which is great. So um, I get to cast Ponder next turn. My opponent's still only on two cards, one of which is Goblin Char Belcher. Um, there's basically nothing my opponent can do that will beat me through Days, Force of Will, and Stifle. So I'm completely fine putting back two true names and shuffling away one of them. Um, I'm actually not going to do that. I'm a bit more patient. Uh, my opponent has a petal. They may have empty here, but they're casting Charbelcher. Empty wouldn't have been too bad. I would have stifled the trigger and they would have only gotten two tokens. That's a clock I'm not too worried about. Um, but Charbelcher is even better for me because I can just daze it. Um, if my opponent has a spirit guide, I can still counter spell the Charbelcher. But. It turns out they do not have that, and therefore this is free. Um, I'm now going to cast the Ponder, finding two lands and another Ponder, which is perfect. Um, I'm going to draw the Ponder, I think, and then the fetch land, but it doesn't really matter. Um, playing out the Tropical here to be able to not shuffle away my Ponder if I have to stifle. Um, Playing the Delta, crack it, cast a Ponder to dig for a creature that costs one. Um, instead, I get Days Force and another fetch. Um, I think I should be drawing the Days here, then the Force, and then I cast True Name next turn. And this is not what I do. I shuffle, which is somewhat reasonable. Um, but I think that was still pretty safe for me. Uh, my opponent has another Char Belcher, and here the dates would have been great, but the counter spell is also okay to use. Um, I still have another Force and a Ponder. 
Um, now I have Fluster Storm, which is perfect. Draw another force. Or not. <laughs> I'm quite aggressive with these ponders. Um, my opponent is on one card. And I want to find a creature at some point. But I, I still think that's pushing it. Now I realize there's no reason to not cast a true name here. Um, so I'll do that. And put my opponent on a six turn clock. Um, five turn with the lightning bolt in hand. Four turn if my opponent has another probe. Um, and now there's almost nothing that can go wrong. I have another nimble mongoose to make it a three turn clock. Um, with a lightning bolt. And just swing in with my creatures. My opponent is not going to kill me here. And I'm going to end step lightning bolt them and they concede. And that's game two.